Good morning and welcome to a Home with the Vlog Word. Home with the <laughs> Home with the Vlog Word. Uh, today we are going to do a live show. We so wait, last night we had our game night with our friends. I feel like we stayed up too late. We stayed up less late less late? We went to bed earlier than we normally do on game night. Did we? Yeah, well, we ended game night earlier than we normally do. Oh, we had a, because so the baby woke up like right at the end of game night, which yeah. is earlier than he normally wakes up. And then, I don't know, I, I feel like I didn't get very much sleep. Right. So. Home with the vlog work. <laughs> uh, I want to go over some of the like decorations in the filming room today because we need to get those ordered. Oh, so that's the other like thing the though too. the shelving and stuff. But I also, we need to get some, um, Picture frames because yeah. I want to put up some of your guys's artwork that you mailed in like over the years Yeah, and I'd like to put some of those up But we can put the shelves up and get things started going up there and then like add yeah And then we're gonna of course show you guys cute babies and cute puppies Yeah, and then hopefully we can do some other fun stuff Yeah, I do have a time-lapse going of the arrow garden, but I don't know if it'll work out Let me show you guys. So here's the arrow garden basil looking beast but I got this GoPro going right here and I have it set to 1800 times speed. So it tells me every five hours will produce 10 seconds of video footage. So that ought to be interesting looking. Also because it's growing so quickly. Yeah. I feel like we will catch some growth. I think I'm hoping that we'll see like at least a little like me. Yeah. Here's, here's something that's fun. Uh, I didn't put that toy over in his swing. He yeeted it over there. Also, we got him this little thing right here. I like to call it his Shrek, but it's like a little mushroom with antenna that he likes to chew on. The other thing is he's been doing great at grabbing things. Like I haven't put anything in his hands in so long. He just kind of grabs whatever he wants to play with and he picks it up and chews on it. Right, buddy? And then Bandit's over here dreaming of the Scrabble World Championships. Let me ask you something. What? So we've been eating bad recently, cupcakes and stuff like that, and like <laughs> making cookies and all those things. But I think we're eating bad for like our mental health. Like it's been right. making us feel good. Eating bad to feel better. Totally doesn't make you feel good. Gives you tummy ache. But it, I don't know, like in the moment, like making the cupcakes was fun. We had a good time. Yeah. Eating them was delicious. Yeah. Um, do you find yourself more hungry after you eat a lot of stuff. So like we've been eating a lot the past few days, like a lot of cupcakes, like stuff like that, like I said. Yeah. But do you find yourself more hungry now? Like it's not the lunchtime you mean at the any time. I think in the morning, yeah, I do wake up like hungrier. Hmm. But I think that's also because when I'm feeding him at night, I used to like eat little things while I was feeding him. Did you? Like, yeah, in the very beginning when I first started feeding him, um, I would, have like peanuts or oh yeah they were upstairs with you yeah like i would be eating snacks while i was feeding him and i don't do that anymore because i feel like i'm so tired i'm they do this thing called dream feeding which is like where the baby is asleep right so you're feeding him he's still asleep you put him right back to bed and he like goes to sleep easy i feel like i'm dream feeding oh like i'm half awake while i'm feeding him do you know what i mean dream feeding sounds like an amazing experience <laughs> and, well i mean it is for the baby but like, I feel like I'm doing the same thing where I'm like half awake and I'm just like, so I don't eat snacks while I'm feeding him anymore. So right. I wake up and I'm starving. Do you think that there's a restaurant out there that would do that, like let you nap and then they would like feed you things in your sleep? Maybe. I think that that could... That's my oatmeal. I think that's something, I think that's something that could happen in Brooklyn. Why Brooklyn? I don't know. Brooklyn seems like a trendy place. Isn't that where they do that like blind thing where they like turn off all the lights and then oh. the, the blind waiters serve you and stuff? I feel like there was one here in Orlando that did really? that. Really? Yeah. We should have done that. That sounds like fun. Yeah. I, well, I also, I feel like it's something that would happen in like Japan because Japan has all the cool like the robot cafes. They have the one place that's like the heart attack cafe. I think that's Oh yeah, it's like American themed? Yeah, and it's like okay. nurses serve you and you're like in a hospital, like eating in a hospital. So I feel like they would have something like that because they're very like themed restaurant, like heavy. I like it. 
That's one thing I wish we had done when we were in Japan is I wish we had gone to one of the robot cafes. That robot cafe was like $80 to get into. Just to get in? Just to get in. Wow. Yeah. I still wish we had gone. Okay, uh, good news everybody. If anybody is looking for tissues and or paper towels, I was able to get those and on. And toilet paper. And toilet paper. I was able to get those on walmart.com for like, they're gonna be delivered on like May the 5th or something like that. So not too long. And then I also got some Raisin Nut Bran, which has been hard for me to find. I feel like, so we talked about that in a video where somebody, I think it was one of the live shows, somebody was like, what's your favorite cereal? Because we were talking about how we were, like our snack that we were having at the time was cereal. Yeah. And everybody's like, I think you mean Raisin Bran. And I was like, no, Raisin Nut Bran. Like it's, yeah. a real, it's a real delicious cereal. Yeah, it's so good. It's like Raisin Bran, except for the raisins are covered in crushed nuts. Yeah, like a weird nut mix. Yeah, but it's so delicious. Yeah, and what was the other thing we got from Walmart? Something um, else. So we water. Oh yeah, soda water. I haven't been able to get soda water. Yeah, so we found some and we're excited. Oh no, we have been able to find soda water. Well, it was cans. And we weren't happy with like the amount of trash the cans was producing. Yeah, it was just like a lot of cans. And I'm like, I don't, like LaCroix, you know? And I'm like, I don't want LaCroix anymore. I want like some, yeah. some hefty two liters. And I wasn't able to find two liters. I was able to find one liters. So still trash but not as much trash as the cans so we're gonna <laughs> you're just looking at me and kissing the baby <laughs> this little baby so he has not been sleeping his sleep schedule has been just like really out of whack yeah, he, he sleeps at night not the party very, animal yeah but during the day he like won't take naps anymore yeah so he's just like ready to party all the time. I put him down for a nap this morning. Like, so usually what happens is I wake up in the morning with him and he wakes up at like 7 a.m. And we come downstairs and we play and we work out. We do like tummy time and we get in the little like the extra saucer and get our legs pumping, stuff like that. And then by around like 10 o'clock, so he's like tired, nine or like 9.30 yeah. or 10 o'clock. And he's like, all right, I'm tired now. And so I put him down and he sleeps while I take a shower. And then by the time I'm done with the shower, he's awake. Today, he slept for 15 minutes. Not nearly long enough. So, hopefully he sleeps this afternoon. Well, I hope he does too because we need to have a live show this afternoon and we can't really do the live show while he's awake. Yeah. Like he'll wake up during the live show and he'll be in part of it, but it's hard to do the live show with him because he's so like- Bouncy. Mess. Yeah, he's, it's very, it's just difficult. So um, hopefully he goes to sleep for a little bit so we can have our live show and we can talk to you guys. Yeah. I guess, well, it, it would have been yesterday, so. But oh no, hey, what happened? Are you okay? <gasps> See, you weren't paying attention to me. I want you to pay attention to me. What are you doing? What is that buddy doing? <laughs> is that funny? He likes to tri uh, fake us out. <laughs> I feel like he's already fake crying and he's only four months old. Yeah. Oh, actually, what's the date? Uh, he'll be five months tomorrow. <gasps> You're gonna be five months old tomorrow. Yeah, you are. He goes, who is? You are. Are you excited? It's gonna be your fun. <laughs> he not is excited. not excited. <laughs> so do you think that there are birds that are afraid of heights? Like a bird that flies and is scared of flying? No? Okay. All right, buddy, show everybody how good you are at attempting to crawl. Crawl to your mommy. Crawl to your mommy. Yeah, do it. There you go, look at you. Crawl You're moving you. forward. Come on, you can do it. <laughs> oh, I like how his head just falls. He's like, Buddy, uh, Jackson. My, my head is too big. My brain is so big. Crawl forward. Crawl to mommy. Come to your mommy. Grab that, that card right there. Do you see it? Oh, yeah. yeah. Do you want to see your friend? So this is the card. This is his friend, the cardinal. Do you want to see your friend, the cardinal? Yeah, it's his friend, the cardinal card. You see him? He wants this you to is, come play with him. This is also his second tummy time of the day, so he is a little bit more tired than he was the first time. <gasps> Buddy, Jackson, <gasps> you want to see your cardinal? Oh, you do, huh? Come get this cardinal. He's like, I'm trying. Push way up. I wonder if this is too slippery. I don't know. He's is this too slippery for the baby? Sort of on his knees and he pushes up on his hands. Look at how, how far sideways he went just now. <laughs> oh no. You're going the wrong way. All right, Jen, I got some bad news for you. What? Lego. Yeah? Just announced. What? Eight new Harry Potter sets. Eight? Eight. Like One what? of them looks like a Hedwig, the owl that like 
flaps his little arms. Are they big sets? No, they're smaller. Huh. They're available at Target. Oh. Wow. I, I feel like if that Hedwig is like 30 bucks, which I don't think it will be, I'm gonna get that head, Hedwig. I feel so like it's gonna be like 60. Is the is the Disney Castle available at Target? Like is all Lego available at Target or only some Lego? Only some Lego. Oh. They have exclusives though. Oh. So like only you can only buy it at Target. Hmm. That Disney Castle is not available. I know, you can't find it anywhere. Can't find it on the black market. <laughs> I have him sitting on my lap and he's like kicking the heck out of this book and it's funny to me. He's like, I don't read no stinking books. I kick them. Kick it. Kick that book. Oh no, now he's like, maybe I'll read it. <laughs> it's about a piano. No, nope, kick it. <laughs> kick it. Get out of here, piano book. <laughs> Just a little cupcake update or a cup date, if you will. Uh, we are down to the last two cupcakes of all the ones that we made. I will say this. The cupcakes got worse being refrigerated. The actual like cake part dried out, but the icing got better. It was like a stew where the flavors melded into the rest of it. So if I were you, and I know you guys are going to make cupcakes because these were delicious, I would make the icing a few days ahead of time, let it sit in the refrigerator, then bring it out and let it get to room temperature when you're getting ready to make the cupcakes. Make the cupcakes, let them cool, then ice them that day and they will be so good. Delicious. Do you guys hear Jackson? He's just like making noises. He goes, Hurrah! What are you doing? Um, eating sugar, no pop. <laughs> oh no. I hate that song. <laughs> we were singing um, on the live show, so we just had a live show and we were singing songs from toddler tunes, which is stuff that this little guy loves. He loves all the songs from toddler tunes, don't ya? Yeah. yeah. I do, I love them. They're my favorite, yeah. So, but that's one of the ones on Toddler Tunes that we don't like. It's true, that's worse than Baby Shark in my opinion. Yeah, I agree. But now we're moving this table. So this is our old living room setup. Oh, well, there's a bobby thing here. And we're, oh, I was looking for that. Found there, it there it is. So we're setting up this table upstairs. This is our like puzzle game area. And we're gonna put together this puzzle that our friends got us for your birthday. Heck yeah. What is this guy doing? He's like, I'm sort of sitting up. Were you like trying to have a little poop? Kind of sounded like you were. I know, but it sounded like he was trying to have a little poop again. So this is the puzzle that we're gonna do. It looks like it's gonna be hard and fun. Oh yeah, look at that. Dang, all the black and white like stuff at the top here is gonna be super hard. Is that a little poopy boy? Johnny, Johnny, yes, Papa. Oh no. Eating sugar, no Papa. Oh no, Tell so dusty. No Papa, open your mouth. Ah, ha, 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 ha. Oh no. Isn't it funny how the songs you hate the most you like know all the words to? That one only has like three words to it. <laughs> so we're gonna put the puzzle out so we can do this oh, later. Look. What? We already put together four pieces. This oh. is like a magic trick because we did it in, look there's, there's over here too. Heck yeah. We're like halfway done with it. Oh yeah. I've never seen this. What? There's like a poster of what it looks like when it's done. Is that how big it is or is it smaller or bigger? I think it's bigger. Oh okay. But like that way you don't have to keep looking at the uh, the, the lid here. Oh okay. Because I like, thought it was so you could just you could just frame this. Oh I already lost one. Oh no. Oh darn it. Where it's did it go? Couch. It went under the couch. Oh, there it is. All right, puzzle saved. <laughs> wow. Look at that. Start. Good, Good to go. Another start. Another one. Huh? Yeah. I always like the way that puzzles feel when you're like spreading them out. Ooh, look at this. Yeah. We're is it done. Is it cheating to do that? I mean, I think it's cheating. Like if they're stuck together. Yeah. Like if pieces come stuck together, that's cheating? Yeah, so wait. Now, okay, when they make a puzzle, yeah. it's, they they do the full thing, yeah. and then a machine cuts it up into the pieces, right? Right. Who undoes it? Is that somebody's job like a like a human? No, well, I think they like just drop it. 
Oh yeah? Yeah, like it's on a, it's on like a conveyor and then it like falls. Oh buddy. Onto something. Like maybe a shaker table or something? Is that what it is? Maybe. What if it was your job, like if you were the human, like let's say it was a human job. Yeah. And you were the human that had to like undo a puzzle. That sounds like fun. Right? Yeah. I would do that job. Would you? Would you? Look at these, these little outside pieces are just all together. Look at that, that's perfect. So a quick break from puzzling. Uh, a little while back we showed Jackson this elephant and he didn't really understand what it was. <laughs> but we think maybe now he might. Let's see, you wanna see? Okay. You ready, buddy? Let's look. Oh, you see yourself oh, you're in the looking mirror? looking in the mirror. Okay, you ready? Is it the Hi, other foot? baby. Peekaboo is most fun with you. Whoa. Hmm. Where'd you go? Peekaboo, I found you. Oh, you like that? <laughs> Where'd you go? <gasps> Where did you go? Peekaboo. There he is. He likes it for a second. Oh, you want to hear a song? Can you tie them in a bow? Do your ears flip flop? Can you use them as a mop? Are they stringy at the bottom? Are they curly at the top? You want to hug him? With a big drool coming out of that mouth. <laughs> oh, buddy. He got the hiccups. He was so excited about it. in the mirror buddy who is that baby <gasps> who's that baby <laughs> do you love that baby whoa whoa he's wearing the same outfit as you yeah oh do you see your elephant friend okay. he just looked at him <laughs> whoa whoa you gotta sit so you can see yourself <laughs> Yeah. It is kind of strange, like framing it up so that you can't see anything other than like him and him. Yeah. It looks very interesting on the camera. Wow. Especially because the the like carpet, it looks like it just continues. Yeah. Oh. Can you shut the door when you hear an awful <laughs> Man, this buddy drools so much <laughs> when he's excited. Yeah. Whoa. Quick question for you guys. So, unprecedented times and all that, uh, somebody just came to our door like a door-to-door -door salesman. That's weird, right? Like, especially nowadays? It's very strange, isn't it? Okay, so now Tim is upstairs. He's putting the baby to bed. I think the baby might be asleep now, but we're gonna have some vegetarian pad thai with carrots and peanuts. This actually looks really good. I was really looking forward to this meal because we were kind of having, not like a rough day, but just sort of like a, I don't know, I think I'm just really tired because I think last night the baby's like sleep schedule was a little bit funky. So I'm just so super tired today. I even made some tea because I needed some caffeine. I haven't had caffeine in, I don't know. It's been a long time since I've had caffeine, a few months for sure. So uh, hopefully that will help me to be a little bit more awake, but I am prepping the dinner now and let me show you. This actually looks like it's gonna be really, really good, so I'm super excited. I've got my stir fry noodles, my water is starting to boil, so I'm gonna cook those up, and right now I'm gonna prep my sauce, which is basically the tamari soy sauce, some packets of sriracha, a little bit of brown sugar, some water, and some lime juice, which I didn't know that that's all that the pad thai sauce was. Uh, I think I might even add some more of the sriracha, make it a little spicier. So we're gonna add our soy sauce. Oh no, I'm making a mess. Let's get in here and see this. Oh yeah, that's some sriracha action right there. I <laughs> know. Wow, what, what is this that you're making here? What is this? This is the pad thai sauce. Oh, okay. You weren't in here, but I already told them. I know, I'm, well I'm asking questions. Oh. This is what somebody that wasn't in here would ask. <laughs> so wait, then I gotta put in my three tablespoons of brown sugar. Not packed, right? No, I think you have to pack brown sugar. Are you sure? Yeah. There's like no way around it. Oh, it smells extra molasses-y. Yeah, so um, we ran out of brown sugar and I found on the internet a way to make our own and that's all it is, is it's sugar with molasses, which I did not know that. 
We have brown sugar. No, but this is dark brown sugar. Oh, okay. So. Apparently, on the internet, there's ways to make everything. Yeah, who knew? Look at how ridiculous these noodles look. They are stir-fry noodles, which is, I didn't know that's what these were called. I thought they were called glass noodles. What are they made of? I have no, I, rice? I bet you they're made of rice. Yeah. So then these are going to, okay, will you stir them occasionally? They're going to cook for six to eight minutes. Sure, I can do that. So I added juice from half a lime. I'm not going to, this is the half I'm gonna, that I'm going to cut up and use for the food. The juice is already in there, but then- The juice we, is on the loose. Then we're going to add in some tap water and whisk that up. And this is the sauce. I didn't realize that this is what Pad Thai sauce was. What? So it was just like soy sauce, sriracha, brown sugar, brown lime sugar, juice, and lime water, juice, and that's it. That's it. Was it special soy sauce though, right? Tamari soy sauce. I don't know what what that is, like. What's special about that? Oh wow, that's yeah. that's weird. So I shouldn't add more spice. It's like a weird mix between the lime and the spice. Like it's not spicy, but the lime, the sourness of the lime makes it spicier. So I shouldn't add more spice? What you doing there, lady? All right, I grated three carrots, and then I have to cut up my scallions. Oh, scallions, eh? Yeah, there's so many scallions in this recipe. And they even gave us extra. Oh, geez. Like for other recipes in case we just like need them. Need more scallions. Yeah. Just I, in case. Might, I never know. Man. So that's what we're doing. Looking good. Thanks. And now we are going to coarsely chop our, I'm looking at this through the camera, so I'm like, am I doing it? Coarsely chop our peanuts in our little peanut guy. Yeah. You wanna do it? Yeah, you see, we can tell that it's gonna be coarsely chopped because there's a fine setting and a coarse setting. Okay. And we're gonna coarsely chop them peanuts. You guys see them down there? They're like. Oh yeah. Popping right through. <gasps> this thing is awesome. Yeah. Cool, that's a lifesaver. So I think we've linked this in the description before, but in case you're interested and you would like to see it, I'll link it for you guys. Look at that, so easy. I scrambled up my eggs and now I'm gonna cook the rest of my veggies, but this little baby woke up from his nap and he was so sad. He's not Aww. happy right now. He's sad that he woke up, I think. Yeah. Buddy. It's okay, buddy, it's okay. We're happy you're awake, okay. There are times in cooking at home, when you overcook your noodles, <laughs> it happens. Still tastes the same. There's a little mushy. I think that I like, I read the instructions, kind of. No, I think you read the instructions exactly. It's like, cook for six to eight minutes. Right. And we cooked it, and they cooked too long. Well, but it, it also said cook just until tender. That was like, af one second after I put them in the water, they were tender. Right. So like, so the good news though, is that this looks really good. Did you show them? No, I haven't showed them yet. Yeah, look at that mushy it, mush. No, it looks delicious. It really does look good and it smells so good. So yeah. I'm excited to try it. But the other good news is that this was so easy to make. And so we will for sure be making this again now that we like know how to make the sauce. Yeah. All we have to do is really get the noodles. Like everything else was so easy. Yeah. So. We'll do it again. We'll I, have a redemption. Yeah, we're gonna have a redemption pad thai, but I also wanna get, like, we can make shrimp pad thai. Well, I oh. can make shrimp pad thai. I can make chicken pad thai? Yeah. So, I'm excited, this was good. Sounds delicious. Silver lining. Yeah, that's quarantine, baby. We had a really big milestone today with Jackson. What? Oh. It was the first time that he pooped in the bathtub. He's never done that before. He did it today. It was pretty gross, but yeah. What are you so, gonna do? He's a big boy. Yeah. So yeah, there you Pooping go. Pooping in the tub. <laughs> Um, also, I wanted to talk about dinner really quick. So dinner was really good. It tasted good, yeah. There were a few things, because I do recommend trying to make this recipe. It was pretty easy as far as like being able to get these items from, you know, the grocery store. It's not yeah. like super hard stuff to find, I think, even right now. So if you like pad thai and you like to do a vegetarian pad thai, uh, I would recommend trying the recipe. I'm going to link it down below in the description if you want to see it. But there are a few things that I would change. What? So I would not overcook the noodles. We cook the noodles for a little bit too long. I would also make double of the sauce because it needed way more sauce. I would put chicken in it. Yeah, I think you wanted like a protein. Yeah. But, and then I would also, um, I think I would add a little bit more spice. Okay, yeah. Just like maybe more... a tad more sriracha, a tad more garlic. Okay. But other than that, it was really good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I enjoyed it. I, I didn't enjoy it as much. 
just because it's not my favorite flavors. Like I don't really like noodles. Right. That's just the way it is, you know. I thought it was really good. I will definitely be making it again. So maybe I'll make it on a night where you have like whatever you well, want. Well, I'll eat it again. Right. You but just don't want to pick it again for that. I wouldn't pick it again, yeah. Okay. But if you, well, you can pick it again though. Well, another thing that I thought was really cute. So we bought these drumsticks, these little ice creams, and we had two left and there was one, what was it? It was plain vanilla. Plain vanilla and then vanilla fudge. And of course we, both of us wanted the vanilla fudge. And so you already ate yours. Yeah. And I thought that you picked the vanilla fudge for yourself. No, I picked the regular plain vanilla. I know, and I said, why? <laughs> I, said, I said, why didn't you eat the, the vanilla fudge? Why'd you leave it for me? Because I love you. And he said, because I love you. And it was so cute. No. <laughs> but I thought that was so nice. Thank yeah, you. It's okay. No, thank you. <laughs> let me ask you guys something. I know I do this often where I pick up the camera and I'm like, let me ask you guys something. This is a, th a question that I have for you guys. Uh, we, during this time at home, have like bought groceries. And one of the things that I bought in the groceries was break and bake cookies. Like just the refrigerator cookies from Toll House that you put in the oven. They're all made up and you just pop them on the sheet, put them in the oven, and they're done. It's been eating me up inside that they've been in the refrigerator. I want to eat them so bad. And I don't know what that is where I'm just like, I know that those cookies are in there. I'm going to eat them. But like, I don't need to eat them. Totally fine. I had ice cream tonight, but I'm still, I'm baking them right now. I'm going to make cookies because I, I don't know why. That's just the way that it is. I want cookies right now, so I'm making them. I'm an adult. Those are some pretty good looking cookies right there, but you can tell that they were break and bake because they like have a square in the center of them. But they look pretty okay. Okay, so those cookies that I just showed you guys were Nestle Toll House. Like they're from the company Nestle Toll House. They tasted absolutely nothing like the Nestle Toll House cookies that we made. The ones that we made were so much better. Why did they change the recipe for these? Maybe a conspiracy? So as you guys know, we've been setting up the filming room. Yeah. And what we're doing is we're putting some shelves up and then we're going to put some pictures and accouchement on there. Is that the right word? Accouchement? <laughs> accouchement. Okay. okay. Yeah, close. Right. close enough. How is it? Accoutrement. Accoutre? I think so. I'm probably saying it wrong too, but we wanted to get stuff to put around. Knickknacks. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. So we looked through and I'm going to show you other stuff, but these are the first things we want to show you yeah. that we're going to put up just in the living room. So this is a picture of Jen and I as <laughs> Han Solo and Princess Leia. This is so funny. So the cool thing about this is that Tim made this frame. Oh yeah, I made that picture frame. Yeah. That Don't was... pay no attention to this bubbly stuff over here. Oh no. But this was a present that you gave me for one of our anniversaries. Yeah. And then this is another one. Of, I don't remember where we took this picture. Yeah, I don't know. But I think know. we took this picture. Or it, maybe your brother took this picture. Because either my brother or us took this picture. I feel like it looks more like him. He's more artsy. Somebody took that picture. And then there's a picture of me on the Appalachian Trail. I don't know how old I was. Well, this was the beginning. So if you, if you remember in old, old videos, he used to have a beard that was like literally down to here. Yeah. That was the end of the trail. So this is the beginning of the trail. Yeah, I was only on the trail for two weeks. I don't know if that's true. Oh, no. <laughs> I think I just grew my beard for a long time. Oh, okay. But, but yeah. yeah. I liked it. I liked being on the Appalachian Trail. I'd like to go back and do that one day, but I couldn't spend, you know, months upon months away from Jen and Jackson. I love this frame, though. Oh, yeah. I made that one, too. No, you didn't. I know, but... No. Yeah. <laughs> but in the office, as you guys know, we have a lot of stuff that you guys have sent us. So we were going through everything to try to figure out what we wanted to frame for the filming room. And I want to do a gallery wall in the office here. And I just want to, I want to put up all your guys' art. So this was a really cool one. Yeah. That we used to have at the old house. Um, this one we used to actually have in our bedroom at our old house. And I think that this one was from Kareen. Yeah. I believe. So these are some cool posters that somebody sent us that I definitely want to frame up. I think these look awesome. They're just like super retro. I think they're reprints. reprints? Yeah, they are. Yeah, but they're so cool. And then this one I love, and I cannot wait to frame this. I forgot that we had this, but this is Armani and Bandit done in the style of All Dogs Go to Heaven, which I just thought was so sweet. Yeah. And I love that. It's so cute. Um, and then this one I thought was really cool because your favorite is Thomas O'Malley. Yeah. And then there's another one in this pile that is um, Marie that's done in the same kind of uh, fashion, I guess. Yeah. Style. 
So I want to, I definitely want to frame those, but I'm so excited, you guys. I didn't, that's not everything. I want to leave some of it to- As a surprise. Yeah, for when we actually like reveal the rooms, but I don't know, is there something on the screen right there? Do you see no. that? You don't see that right there? No. Oh no, there's a big thing right there. Is there? Yeah. Oh, saving that. Oh <laughs> no. But thank you guys so much for all of the amazing art that you've sent us over the years. Our PO box is closed currently, but just going through this old mail and going through your your art that you've sent in over the past like I don't know, like six or seven years is just it's awesome. So thank you guys. And I can't wait to display it and show it off to everybody. Yeah. So now here's my question. I already asked these guys that. Hmm. Those are Nestle Toll House cookies. Why do they taste Yeah. So, so he <laughs> So here's my question. Well, I'm and I all that in. Oh, okay. So <laughs> uh I already asked these guys, but those are Nestle Toll House cookies. They taste way different than the ones that we made. Why? I don't think these have the nuts. I know they don't, but like still even then, they don't taste anything like the ones that we made. Well, they probably use baking soda and we'd use baking powder. Oh, the secret ingredient. And nuts. Well, that was a fun and exciting day. We got to see Jackson playing with the elephant. I ate ice cream and cookies. So did I. I didn't, I forgot we had ice cream. Yeah. Oh my God. And then we, we made need to dinner. like, we gotta chill. We I need... think we've eaten all of the like bad snacks in the house by now. I know, but you keep buying more. I know, I'm done. I'm done buying them. You said that last time. Well, I there's still two cupcakes you. left. I'm not eating them. Mm. <laughs> also, um, I had two cups of tea. So I feel like I'm ready to go. I want to like rearrange the whole office tonight. I want to put up all the pictures. Yeah. I didn't have any caffeine, so I'm gonna go to sleep. I know, I wish I didn't have two cups of tea. That was silly of me. Mm. What was I thinking? But it was so delicious. Yeah. I love tea. It's good. And that's the tea. It is the tea. <laughs> um, but I also like, I really, really enjoyed going through your artwork. Yeah, it was I good. It made me really like happy to see all the stuff that you guys made for us and you guys are so talented. I know. It's crazy. Like I wish I had a single ounce of that talent. We can draw Mickey Mouse a little bit. You guys remember that? <laughs> um, but yeah, today was a really good day and I cannot wait because tomorrow is Jackson's five month milestone. Oh, yeah. Five months. Yeah. Can you believe that? Also, no, I can't. It's great. Like he just turned four months old. Yeah. It's so weird. So all in all, fantastic day. Yeah. So with that being said, we are off. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Hi, my name is Alexis. I'm from Kentucky and now it's time to pay the price.